Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Lisa Flanders. I'm a physiotherapist in Ottawa, Ontario, and we are gonna continue our conversation today about constipation. So if you missed my video part one, it's just linked down below in our description and check that out first before moving on to this section. We spoke a lot last time about how our posture can change our anorectal angle, making it more challenging to have a bowel movement, kind of flexes that tube and makes it much more challenging for our bowels to move through. So we're gonna to talk today about a couple things that we can start to do to lengthen the space in our pelvic floor and make that angle a little bit more optimal to have a good bowel movement. If you're sitting for a long period of time or maybe on the couch watching TV and we're sitting back on our sacrum and our tailbone, that changes the position, kind of pushes our tailbone under and it shortens the pelvic floor muscles and again, that kind of flexes that tube, making it more challenging to have a bowel movement. So not saying that sitting like this is wrong, try not to do it for long periods of time is gonna be more ideal and just being mindful of changing positions often. If you're finding that those muscles are tight, what you can do is a release at home. This is great for adults. You're gonna take a small ball about the size of a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna place it underneath our sits bone to create a little bit more space in the back of our pelvic floor. What I typically do is I like to lift my bum up, find my sits bone, and then take the ball and place it just on the inside and slightly behind the sits bone. We're looking for a feeling of discomfort, but not pain. So somewhere less than a four out of 10 on a pain scale. If you're not feeling a whole heck of a lot, you can bring that knee, that same knee that that ball's under, up towards your chest to get a little bit more of a release. And we would ideally hold this for two minutes and then switch to the other side. If you're finding you're having to do a lot of computer work and you're able to do this, or if your children are doing their homework and have this option to do this from home, you can set up a footstool or a yoga block, set yourself up in this low squat position. I'm making sure I'm sitting on my sits bones and I can sit here at this ideal level to work on whatever I'm working on. Lastly, we can help our digestive organs move through by doing a tummy massage. And again, this is great for both adults and children. So you're gonna start on your right hip. You're going to move your fingers up with some gentle pressure to right underneath your rib cage. You can repeat that five to 10 times. Then we're going to come from right to left underneath our ribs, applying that same gentle pressure, repeating five to 10 times. And then we're gonna come down all the way to our left hip, five to 10 times. And what that does is it follows our digestive organ pattern of our large intestine. So we're starting at our ascending colon, moving through the transverse colon, down the descending colon, and then towards the rectum. You can also just go in a circle using that same gentle pressure. I really hope that you found this two-part series helpful. Happy pooping, and we'll be back soon with another episode of It's Not TMI. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.